guys. So I am once again in my office, or as I like to say, orifice. My upstairs office, not in the basement, so no orb. Um, oh, there is kind of one. My forehead, it just attracts the light because it's so big no matter where I go. We got the mess in the background, whatever. But I asked you guys in my last um, video if you wanted me to go ahead and do that consignment store tutorial thing <laughs> that I know a lot of you have been asking for a long time and you said yes, so that is what this video is going to be. This video is going to be about how to make money at a consignment store and specifically how I make money at a consignment store. And I have to preface this video like I always do when I talk about consignment stores is that every consignment store is different. This is not a universal thing like selling on eBay or Poshmark or Etsy. Every consignment store is different. So a consignment store is where you set up an account with a store, you take things in and they sell them for you and they split the profits. It's different than a place like Plato's Closet or Buffalo Exchange where you take items in and they give you money on the spot. This is you're taking items in and they're selling them for you and splitting the commission. Every store is different, not only in the percentage they give you, but in what they sell. In our area, over the years, there have been stores that were just kids stuff, like baby supplies, kids clothes, maternity wear, that was all they did. There have been stores that were just women's clothing. There have been stores that were just um, house, or, um, yeah, housewares, vintage, antiques, whatnot. So the way to find out uh, about a consignment store is to physically go there and do the legwork. So you get out the phone book, the paper book that you might still have around, and you open it up and you look under consignment stores and you physically go to the ones in your area and see what they sell, ask what their terms are, and also get a feel for the store. Are they tiny? Are they big? Are there other people shopping in there? Does it seem like it's way out of the way? Is it in a busy location? You just have to do the legwork. Now for me, the consignment I store I use is called Stuff Etc. It is a it's a chain, but it's like a franchise thing. So I think each store is individually owned here in Iowa. And I there are six or eight of them at this point, but they're all in Iowa. And the way Stuff works is that it's really like a thrift store. When I see videos of people going to Savers, um, Value Village, it's very much like that and they sell across a wide range of categories. Of course they have clothing and shoes for men, women, and children. They also have, I'm gonna go around the store in my head and get all their departments. They have magazines, books, CDs, DVDs, toys, crafts, um, purses. They have an entire jewelry counter. They sell um, health and beauty and cosmetics. They sell vintage antiques collectibles, artwork, um, housewares, of course, anything from small appliances to dishes, uh, luggage, linens. Am I all the way around the store now? Yeah, they sell a lot. They don't sell things like plush. They won't accept plush. Um, I don't, they're not gonna accept like a big appliance or anything. And when it comes to clothes, they want it to be within the past two years, which is pretty common. I think Plato's Closet has the same rule, it needs to be within the past two years. But they do take a wide variety of things. So that works great for me because I have, oh, when it comes to eBay, sold a lot of different categories. So how I use the consignment store is I basically take my eBay duds. If something hasn't sold on eBay or I have it and it, I look at eBay and it's not gonna sell that great, it, um, I will take it to the consignment store. If it's something I don't want to bother shipping, off to the consignment store. I've been taking a lot of stuff um, in the past months to the consignment store with caring for my dad. It's just been really hard to get things onto eBay. So it was a really quick and easy way for me to sell things and get the money. Now, how much of a percentage a consignment store will give you again varies. Stuff for new consigners does 60-40. They keep 60%, you get 40%. How it works with stuff, and again, this is just for stuff, you sign up with, an, for, uh, with them an account, you get an account, and you, then you can purchase a, a, re, a reusable bag, it's a black bag. And the black bag allows you to fill that bag in and bring it in once a day. And so what they've been doing is you would go in with your bag, they would have totes, plastic totes, you would move your items from your tote I'm sorry, from your bag to the tote, you'd fill out the consigner slip. They're also now having you fill out another check-in sheet. 
and then you hand it to them and then they process it and for regular consigners it can be you know up to a week for them to process it now i recently got upgraded to vip status at stuff because i take in so much and i make so much so as the vip i can take in as much stuff as i want i don't have to do the black bag or make an appointment i can take as much as i want in oh i was gonna say with the black bag there's the black bag option or you can take five items larger items that wouldn't fit in the bag in in a day so let's say you had like some really big games or some giant vase or something anyway you could take five of those in for the regular consigners now that i'm a vip i can take as much as i want in any day of the week i don't need an appointment i don't need to put in anything in the tote what i've been doing is i fill up my trunk i go into the store i get a cart take the cart out to the car fill it all up wheel it in i go up to the counter and i just tell them it's a vip drop off I do still have to fill out the little slip. I do have to sign in, but then they take it back there straight away and a manager immediately processes it. So for the VIP, it is a lot faster. I know somebody who maybe knows a little bit more with, you know, how to price things. You're getting someone at the top looking at it. So they're um, giving me the best chance of getting it uh, the best price and then getting it out on the floor. And at the VIP status, it's a 50-50 split. So I'm getting 50% of what the item sells for now here's some other seriously every time i start to film a video somebody calls me nobody should be calling me it, they're not calling me it's the wrong number I don't, it's larry king larry king is calling me larry i thought we would talk later sorry about that a more professional youtuber would turn the phone off before she started filming but we know that's not me okay so i talked about the 50 50 split that's where i left off yeah um, so here's the thing with most consignment stores and the same with stuff, they price the item. I don't price the item. I can leave them a suggestion for something they'll put, like if it's a vintage or antique, you can leave a suggestion. Um, but they set the prices and they have a lot of sales. And if you have that black bag in your consigner, every day people with the black bag can get a special discount. Like one day it'll be, 15% off clothing that you can fit in your bag or on Fridays it's an extra 10% off clearance that'll fit in your black bag. So it's very rare that an item goes on the floor and it ends up selling straight away for whatever they put on it. It's likely it's going to be put on sale, some sort of discount. After 60 days, items are clearanced at 50% off. After um, 90 days they are clearanced at 80% off and when it comes to the end of season items the clothing they will often pile them up like right now they've got a bunch of shopping carts at the front of the store pile of clothing it says 80% off but probably any day now it'll go to 90 and they'll just try to blow out what they can when an item sells then it registers to my account I can monitor it online and I can go in at any time and cash out if it's more than a hundred dollars they usually give me a check um, otherwise get cash other consignment stores I know will have one day a month payout. Um, they will mail a check or you have to come in and sign for a check. So again, that is totally different. Mine's been great because it's kind of like an ATM. I haven't been to the ATM for ages because when I want some cash, I just go into stuff and draw from my account and do it that way. I can also use the money I make to shop in the store. Um, so that is great. Again, stuff for me, it works like a thrift store. I'm at a 50, 50 split by now. I can take in almost all categories. There are, you know, doesn't mean they're going to take everything. Um, and stuff, it's in a very, 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 very busy area. They get a ton of traffic. So stuff tends to sell pretty fast. They like my stuff and that's why I got put up to a VIP. They know, know me, my name. They're like, and we've missed you here. I'll just take your stuff back and get it going. So it's been great for me like i said especially these past months when i just haven't been able to do as much on ebay i've been able to take things in now on a lot of that stuff i could have made more money had i put it on ebay so of course there is that i'm not making as much when i take things good time store in some cases i'm just making my money back and when i'm doing bulk buys when i had some liquidation and there was the stuff i didn't want to sell again that's fine for me because it's an easy way for me to just like make my money back on the overflow and then focus on the higher dollar items for um, eBay. So most consignment stores and stuff is the same. They don't take everything. There are things that they will not take. Clothes that are out of date. Um, for a while this summer, my store wasn't taking any books because they just had too many. I remember last year, 
uh, or last winter, they're like, we can't take sweaters right now. We have too many sweaters. So if they're overstocked on stuff, they will not take it. Um, or sometimes if they're really, they have a lot, that means the price is going to go down. Now I can choose to get back the stuff that they're not going to take, or I can choose for them to just donate it. And I always just have them donate it for me. If it's going to the consignment store, that's my last option before I donate it myself. So I might as well just have them donate it if they can't sell it. Some things that they've um, not taken recently. I had some nail polish that required a UV lamp and that wasn't selling. So I'm like, just donate it. Fine. I've had some purses in the past, um, some vintage Dooney and Burke that they said they those just don't sell for them. So they didn't take those. Um, Usually it's a case of it's, and those are the ones I know because they'll call me because they want to double check, um, like with the purses. They're like, well, we have a policy. If it's a designer purse, we'll call you, um, which is fine. Um, they're old. They're just, you know, they're just not great. If the condition's not great, they're not going to take them. I've been in line there before, and I've seen other people take stuff up. And I remember one girl, she had to just, I don't know what it was, just some generic -y purse. And she said, well, we're not going to take this you know it's it's out of style and it's dirty and she said oh if i clean it and bring it back and she the, I was like well no because it's still out of date <laughs> um i think that's got to be about the worst job in town working at the consignment store because all these people come in a few months ago one of the girls told me they have sixteen thousand consigners at just my store uh that's crazy and people come in and they bring all their crap and they don't understand why they don't take things another time one of the workers was telling me that a lady had brought in a nasty nasty high chair that she had for years and she threw a fit because they wouldn't take it it she said it was crusted with food it was rusty and this lady was like well it was good enough for my three kids and they're like yeah we can't take that <laughs> so things that are broken dirty out of style most consignment stores are just not going to take and that's i don't know why people don't seem to get that but they don't and those poor almost all of them are girls they have to stand there all day and explain the rules explain the process and i just think oh my gosh that's just awful <laughs> um but anyway so for me i do just have them donate everything my store donates to saint vincent de paul um a lot of times when i'm there i'll see the saint vincent de paul truck come up and they'll take stuff away and again things that don't end up selling after they've been clearanced for three or four months um, will get donated as well I don't know at my store if you can get back stuff after it actually hits the floor you might I there's probably a policy for that but again I don't pay attention to that and again that's something that different consignment stores would work you know have to decide I think that's really the thing if you do go with a consignment store that you've got to accept the fact that it's their business right you're coming in as a customer but how they run their business is up to them the percentage that they give you the items that they take their markdown clearance policy um, if you get items back or if you choose to donate all of those things that's really their decision so going into a consignment store and pitching a fit because they're taking a bigger cut or they won't take something you brought in is just you, you got to get over that because that's how they're running again that's something i see a lot of <laughs> the counters people are like well why won't you take these shoes from you know they're all ratty and gross from 20 years ago so yeah for me it's my last resort before i would have to just take it to goodwill myself so i might as well take it to the consignment store hopefully they can take some of it and sell it if they can't sell it, they will just donate it for me and I'm done with it. So again, with consignment stores, you've got to do your research. You've got to do the legwork. Find the consignment stores in your area. Physically go to them. See the kind of things they sell. Ask for their policy. Go to all of them. You might think you found one that looks pretty good. You might find another that's a lot better. So it pays to do your legwork. Um, again, I think for me, one of the best things is that the stores in a very high traffic area, they get a lot of business. So maybe I don't make a huge amount of money on stuff, but it goes very fast. Uh, so for me, that really works. The fact that my store will donate the items that I don't want, again, that works for me because at that point I'm done with it anyway. And that I can go in and cash out at any time is great. That may not be the case for consignment store you work with. I don't think 
most consignment stores work that way. I think most have maybe a once every two weeks or once a month cash out policy. But again, every store is different. I just can't reiterate that enough because I'll have people comment about, you know, my thrift store and that sounds so great, but you may not have that in your area. Uh, stuff, et cetera, like I said, is in Iowa. There's seven or eight locations. They're franchised, so the policies vary per store. Um, but they tend to be quite big. The, my store, the main store is actually in what used to be an Office Depot, I think. It was an Office Depot and then an Office Max and then it was stuff. But they also have another store next door where the, all the furniture is. And that used to be a factory card outlet. You remember factory card outlet? Back in the day, cards were 29 cents. I know that the Coralville store in Iowa and the Cedar Rapids store in Iowa have basements. So... I haven't, I've been to the Coralville store last year. I didn't even know they had a basement when I was in there. I was like, but it was massive. The last time I was at the Cedar Rapids store, this was years ago, like when they first opened, like years ago. I It was at the old Target over by West Seal Mall. If you're from Cedar Rapids, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't know if that's the same store now. But anyway, so, um, but they're big. They're like a thrift store. Um, so the prices are a little lower. Maybe if I went to a specialty shop for women's clothing, um, but again, I can take anything there and it's great. So that is everything about consignment stores. Um, you can let me know if you have any questions or comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have, a, if you are working with a consignment store. Are you taking things in to consign? Are you just using like Plato's Closet or Buffalo Exchange? Um, yeah, leave me a comment below and let me know. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more reselling content. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.